All right, so uh, I set up my hydraulic clutch setup. Everything was brand new. I put uh, brake fluid and everything in there. Anyways, a couple tips here. So when you open up this back cap on this slave cylinder, um, there's a piston in there, and my piston was flush with the top. When I didn't know that that was fully in, so I had issues at first of it not moving. Then I eventually figured it out and opened this up. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that this shaft is slid all the way out, and you, you check by opening up this cap, looking down in there, and you'll see that there's a piston that's going to be down versus all the way flush. Let's see if I can pop it right. Let's just see, just so you can see it. So this would be piston down. Okay, you see how the piston's down in there? Mine was flush with the top originally, and that was making it not actuate. So once I figured that out, I found an awesome way to bleed these bad boys. So what you do is you hook it all up, right? You want this pointing down, right? So the bubbles can escape up the line, up the line. So kind of one like this, but the line pointing up. Put it at the lowest spot. Just pump every, every like 15 seconds and bubbles will come out. Once the bubbles kind of stop, then what I did is I pushed the piston in and then out and then in and then out. And basically it was pumping, it was sucking fluid in and pushing it out and a lot of bubbles were coming up here. After I did that a few times, it was working perfectly. So I can kind of show you, I just pit, see how I'm doing that? Pumping it, okay, here we go. And as I was doing that, bubbles were coming up in this. It worked out pretty good. Anyways, so that's a tip on the hydraulic clutch there. Because I, I looked on YouTube and there's literally nothing in these hydraulic clutches. Um, I've seen a couple forum posts where people said they had a hard time bleeding them. I mean, honestly, I didn't have to do nothing, crack no fittings. Or, I did crack this once or twice, to, pumped it, cracked it, and then tightened it. Uh, but once fluid came out of this and everything was kind of full and the bubbles kind of stopped coming out by squeezing it, then pumping that system back and forth, pumping the piston back and forth, putting the bubbles up basically works great. Then I put a spring on it to test it. We got good actuation. So I'm gonna see if I can install this without any modifications, like meaning cutting, because everybody that I've seen done it, they cut the side of their case and make a bracket. So basically, they see this, uh, put the clutch, the clutch line right here it's hard to see anyways the line that goes in there they usually cut it and put a bracket okay you see that no you can't see shit 